There are quite a few secrets in Hogwarts Legacy, and in today's video, we're going to become a treasure hunter and start acquiring all of our treasure hunter gear. The first treasure map we're going to go over can actually be started from a side quest in Hogwarts. We're going to go to the Astronomy Wing and then to the Transfiguration Courtyard. From here, we're going to talk to Miss Adelaide Oaks and pick up her side quest. Once you accept the quest, we're going to head over to this location that it's pointing us to on the map, which is a large goblin encampment. We're going to have to murderize all of the goblins here before we can actually collect the treasure map. Once you've taken out all of the goblins in this back corner here, you're going to find Roland's journal. And then you should find a little map right here for the Roland Oaks map. This is where things start getting interesting and we start our quote unquote treasure hunt. Now, this is the least treasure hunty of all the quests we're going to be doing today, but it's still going to be interesting. Now, this map that we picked up is leading us to a location just southwest of where we were over to the flu point called the Koro Ruins. Now, once you're here, you're going to see a big destroyed castle. And where we need to go is actually to the back right corner of this castle. There's a little courtyard right here. There's going to be a bunch of goblins in this area. But if you go to the spot right here, you can just hop in and murder all of them. They're like level 20. And we want to go through this destroyed gate down into the ruins themselves. Once inside, we essentially just need to run through this area and kill all of the goblins that we find along the way. Now, thankfully, once you're here, the game pretty much shows you exactly where you need to go because the game really spoils all the fun for you. We just got to talk to Roland Oaks to this door. I mean, then he's going to ask us to find his wand. Now, Roland's wand is behind this boiler door, which means we need to find these little boilers to actually get it to open. And I believe if we run up here and then to the left and across here, the boiler that we need to get to is just sitting right here. Let's go ahead and use Confringo or something like that on it. And we should be able to open the door. Once you defeat those goblins, just run into the room here to the right that's highlighted purple. Pick up Roland the Oaks's wand here on the this table, and then Oaks's take it wand. back to him, and this little Perhaps treasure no, hunt quest free. is complete. Now, there actually is one good bonus in this room where you get Roland Oaks' wand, and if you run up these stairs to the left, especially if you're into all the collections and being able to decorate the room of requirement, go through this little revealed wall right here, and you'll find one of these chests that contains the circular painting. Now the real treasure hunting begins. If you go all the way south from Hogwarts, you're gonna wanna pass through this tunnel right here. You can go up this road, go through this tunnel, and this is gonna bring you to the south side of the map. You're going to want to head to the Poidseer Castle and clear out all the poachers in the area. As you're clearing out this encampment, you're gonna notice in the back west corner, one of these side quest markers hovering over this treasure map. It's called the Henrietta's map. Now this, we have to find this hippogriff right here. And you'll notice that we have to use fire and ice to actually unlock this puzzle. And there's a couple other puzzles in this area as well. Now the location that we need to go to is much farther south. So we're gonna go all the way south to the end of this little peninsula right here. You'll also notice when you get here, there's another quest called Solved by the Bell. So there's a valuable item at Henrietta's Hideaway. This is actually another treasure hunt that we're gonna do immediately after this one. But you're gonna head to this location here called Henrietta's Hideaway. <laughs> Easy to find. Uh, there's actually an infamous foe here that you're gonna have to kill and you're gonna have to basically clear out this bandit camp. And then once we're here, we're going to head I down these stairs. When I see one. We're going to turn down to the left. There's That's also a Merlin trial in place. one of the uh, the star finding thingamaboobs here. But we're just going to head into the hideaway. Once inside, we're going to find a relatively simple puzzle. It's just matching the blocks with the icons on the floor. So we've got the ice one on the ice one already. And then you'll notice if you use Revelio, we've got something here that we can light up as well. So we're going to use Confringer. this to open up this so we can get that chest on the other side. Open up that bad boy even though it's just a green item. You might get more better luck than me though. Then we're gonna light up this one right here. We don't have to light up both if you don't want to. But on the other side of this is the block that we need to put on the other side. Excuse me, block. Come here, please. Thank you. Must be a way through. Gonna drop that. Then we need to light this one on fire. And we need to ice this one. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. The door is open. Now you'll notice we go. just through here, is the griffin statue that we need. There's Ashwinders. also a bunch of Ashwinders in here, so we're gonna have to company. murder all of their faces. Once you've killed all of the Ashwinders in here, we can actually solve this puzzle, and it involves these pots right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and light them all on fire. We don't necessarily have to light them all on fire. Lord, I don't think I needed to blow it up. Good Lord. 
<laughs> uh, I guess we can... Let's light this one right here. These right here. Light this one on. And then what we need to do is we need to actually freeze some of these as well. Glacius. We're going to use Glacius on this one next to this foot. Then we're going to move over. We're going to skip one and then freeze the one next to the next foot. Then we're going to skip these two right here. And then we're going to freeze both this one and this one. Perfect. And this That's will open up got. the treasure room right in the back. This must and be there we go. All the we got the treasure about. seeker gloves. Once clearing out those ash winders, there's two things that we can do here. If we run up these stairs right here, we're gonna see over on this left side a little block. Just go ahead and accio that over to you. And then we're going to take this block and we're going to put it on this little pedestal right here. And then this is where I really wish they didn't spoil all of the things with icons on the map and in your HUD and everything, because there's actually a secret wall right here that if you walk up to it, it'll open up and you can pick up the musical map, which we want to solve. So this one is actually a really cool little What's Easter this? egg, uh, but Some also sort of inside of map. here is another item that we need to get. Actually, it's right here. I think, is there another chest in here somewhere? There is right here. I think it's just a little stupid item. But we're gonna... Not the barrel, you fool. We want this right here. Just gonna take this bad boy. And unfortunately, we can't go through the wall because that's just how life is sometimes. We're gonna go up these stairs and all the way around, which I'm guessing this door will open right here. And we want to take this over to that other... It's not a pedestal. I called it a pedestal earlier, but it's really just the fire marker on the on the ground right here. Oh, hello, glitches. Can I walk through here, please? Thank you. We need to light this bad boy on fire. Maybe if we actually get it on top of it. There we go. So that's on fire. And then we need to actually Levioso... Uh, this one right here. Levioso. And it's going to open up this little secret door. Now, at the end of this hallway is actually a decent treasure. It's actually a guaranteed legendary item. Now, if you don't know about these chests, you can completely reload these each time until you get an, a specific item that you want. Uh, we're going to open this bad boy up and see what we get. We got an unidentified back item, which is actually pretty nice. But you can just reload. You can save before opening that and continuously reload. And you'll be able to get any item you want. We're going to step on this little button right here. That little button actually just takes us out to the entrance of this, where we can leave and head to the next treasure map. From from this location, we're going to head just east over to the Klagmar Castle. This is going to have another one of the uh, foes here. You can clear this encampment out. And once you have it cleared out, where we need to go is just through here. And you can see this tower with the bells on it. Now what we need to do is we need to ring these bells in a very specific order and it's a little bit easter eggy and we're gonna get another item from this. I guess I can't say it's a little easter eggy, it's definitely easter egg. You can check your map to actually get the way to ring these bells, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and eight. Yeah. That did it. That's some Hogwarts music right there. And then right to our left is going to be another chest and look. with the treasure, treasure seeker's long coat and 400 galleons. The treasure hunter's attire is actually pretty cool looking. I really like it. And then in the next video, we're going to go on some more treasure hunts, finish out the set, and look for some more secrets in Hogwarts Legacy.